guys, it's Lauren Weber here and this is my Weber weekly update and this week I'm so happy and excited to share that I close escrow. I just got confirmation that the house is now mine and I'm going to be a fellow South Bay homeowner. Today I closed on my house. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to breathe because it's been a wild 30 days of escrow. <laughs> um, but today I had to share that exciting news. I wanted to talk a little bit more about going all the way back to when I first started touring homes and what knowing my numbers has helped me in my decision making process and whether I was able to walk away from a property or when it came time to finding this house, go all in. Um, so what do I mean by knowing my numbers? If you know your numbers, it will help you. A little backstory. This house, my intention is to hopefully keep it for indefinitely a long time. And eventually when I move out, I want to put some tenants in it. So this is my first starter home. I want to build my real estate profile and keep it. Um, with that said, when I ran my numbers, whenever there was a house that I was touring and interested in, what I was looking at was the current market rental rate. And I wanted to make sure that if I were to put a tenant in today, it would at least make a wash on my monthly mortgage payments, interest, and taxes. So with that said, let's go down the line of all the homes I saw. Maybe not all of them, but a few of them. So I saw seven homes in total. That's not too bad, not too shabby. And I only wrote one offer, which is the house that I'm buying. Um, the first house that I saw was in a cute neighborhood. I love the neighborhood and it was a three bedroom, one bathroom house. What I learned from that one was that I quickly understood that I did not want a major fixer. And this one wasn't like so crazy, but it, if in order for me to feel excited and comfortable about moving in, I would want to redo the kitchen, redo the bathroom, redo all the floors, painting. And I was even going down the line of like, I want to open this wall up and then I want to extend the house this way. And I was just like, okay, stop. No, too much. <laughs> so it's good to know how much wor work you're willing to do because I just, I saw the house and I said, no, thank you. Love the neighborhood, but I gotta go. Now the second house, this is where it really counted in knowing my numbers. The second house was a townhouse. And at that point I wasn't really, um, I was on the fence about if I wanted to be in a townhouse or single family residence. So I did go back and forth about, you know, the pros and cons of all of that. And that can be a whole nother Weber weekly update. But when it came down to, my numbers and seeing that my max offer price that I was willing to pay and my walk away price was not going to yield me the monthly rental rate that I was looking for. So that after all the back and forth of like townhouse, not townhouse, HOA, no HOA yard, no like, and I was like, okay, I'm down for a townhouse. When I ran the numbers, it was very clear that that wasn't going to work for me. So just tip to you guys, if you run your numbers first, you could probably save your time, yourself the time of going back and forth. Did I talk about that? <laughs> but it was a great exercise because in the end of the day, um, what I did learn was that my interest rate was gonna be a little bit higher in a townhouse. And I did, after walking away, came to, uh, you know, having a real conversation with my myself and I really realized I did want a single family residence. Um, so a few other homes that I saw were either too small, again another one was like a huge fixer and the amount um, that I thought it was going to sell for, it just it didn't make sense for me financially. There was a house that I did fall in love with, but it was for $750. I knew that there was already multiple offers as far as your budget goes. What? So again, that was a lot higher than my budget, so I didn't even play the game of putting an offer in. So I had to sadly walk away from that. But all in all, I am so stoked to be sharing this journey with you. Thank you for following along. Thank you for everyone who has expressed um, their congratulations and their support. I can't wait to show you guys around and share a little bit more about the things that I'm learning. So know your numbers, know your walk away price, know your monthly. Um, costs with everything all in and that'll help you to know if you're gonna go for it or walk away. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!